Hello, this is Dr. Douglas Scarotta. Thank you for taking the time to answer a few questions to determine whether or not this procedure called the nasal stent, also called Latera, is it right for you? Are you right for it? We'll find out with these three questions. First, let's learn a little bit more about you. When you sniff in, does your nose do this? I'll demonstrate on myself. See how this collapses maximally? It collapses enough that it totally blocks off airflow on this side. Watch the other side. There's a little more support here and therefore it's not collapsing off completely. It is collapsing off, however, and if you support it, you'll feel, you'll feel a dramatic increase in airflow. So take a moment and see if you have that problem too. Okay, well, if you're still watching, then you may have lateral nasal wall collapse just like me. Welcome to the club. Or you may be an inherently curious person just like me. Welcome to the club. Second question, um, in what situation does that collapse bother you? And I'm gonna make this even simpler for you. Does it bother you when you're sleeping at night or does it bother you during the day? The reason why that's important is that at the Modern Nose Clinic, we're always looking for the least expensive, simplest uh, treatment options first. And so you're like, are you trying to promote this procedure or not? I just want happy patients. I don't care how we get them. If we get them because you watch this YouTube video and it answers all of your questions, awesome, happy for you. If we get it because you're one of the people who actually will benefit from this, awesome also. So that's, that's our perspective in case you're wondering. So if it's at night when you go to sleep, there are devices you can buy on Amazon or whatever online source you want, Walmart. I don't know what all there is out there. I'm not a, I'm not a good shopper, but anyhow. And they're called, I call them nasal dilators, nasal dilators. And you insert them into your nostril like a thimble and it goes up on each side. There's usually a little plastic bridge and there's a million different things out there and they're all about 10, 12, 15 bucks, come in all kinds of sizes, yada, 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 yada. Now, if you're bothered because when you sleep at night, your nose is collapsing, you can't breathe well, try that. If it satisfies you, awesome, 10, 12 bucks, fixed. But some of you might say, I don't want to use it the rest of your life. Well then, listen a little bit more. Second person, yeah, it bothers me during the day. I'm going to say, does it bother you at rest? You're just sitting at your desk, you're taking an exam, your SATs, whatever, and people can hear the noisy respirations. It just bothers you. You don't feel like you're moving air smoothly and therefore you're not getting good oxygen and you feel tired all the time. It bothers you just at rest. Oh, then you probably need to continue to listen because this could be a good procedure for you. Um, it bothers me when I'm exercising. Whenever I start moving air more vigorously through my nasal airway, it collapses in. That's true for me. Um, so if I'm on a treadmill or if I'm um, riding a bicycle or whatever, um, it can really bother people. Um, so that's the third group. So we're going to get back to all of y'all in just a minute. So just stay tight, okay? Okay, so what is the simple fix for me? the guy who exercises and it bothers me during the day and so on and so forth. I don't want to go around with nasal dilators in my nose. I would suggest you try a product called Breathe Right Strips. Breathe Right Strips are available over the counter at, at lots of pharmacies and so on and so forth. They're a little sticker that goes over the, the tip of your nose and helps to hold the nostrils open. It simulates this. Um, and if you find that really does help, um, well then the nasal stent also called the chair, will, that procedure will also help and you'll have to make a decision about how much of a hassle it is wearing those band-aids versus how much of a hassle it is doing the procedure. But it's a great little experiment. And for those of you who are completely happy with the Breathe Right strips, then you're done. Awesome. Um, but if not, then continue on because there's more for you. Sorry, I did say three questions, so let's just finish this off. The third question is, if you don't wanna do the nasal strip, or breathe right strip, or the stent, the rest of your, stent, the dilator the rest of your life, then you might consider doing that Latera nasal stent procedure where we strengthen the lateral wall so it won't collapse in. So let me tell you a little bit about that.